I am Harper. I am an AI expert. I have about 10 years of experience in AI and machine learning. I have two degrees from Stanford in computer science focusing in AI. I was at Facebook and then Meta for about four years where I was building machine learning systems. And then I was founding engineer at a startup with the two founders and I started teaching AI ML there and I was making coding guides for fine tuning models. So actually changing the parameters of the model based on data. So it involves code, et cetera. And then that company was acquired by NVIDIA. And now I teach AI and I started this about a year ago on Instagram. So expanding from the coding guides. So I'm so glad that you're here and I'm really excited to start this Q and A series. Why can't AI just browse the internet like you? Okay. so. This is a common misconception that large language models all have the capability to browse the web. At their core, large language models are text generation machines. They are just generators. Given the input that they have received, you know, zero to n minus one, they process and then output the nth token, okay? If you say to the model, hi, my name is Harper, it will process the first round, it'll say, hi, my name is Harper, and then it'll output hi. At the next round, it'll process, hi, my name is Harper, hi and then I'll output my. And so its response, say if it wants to say, hi, my name is ChatGPT, it will go, hi, my name is Harper, then hi, my name is Harper, hi, then hi, my name is Harper, hi, my, then hi, my name is Harper, hi, my name. So again, it's like this sliding window of text and for every token generated, it's looking at all the tokens before, including its own tokens. And there is a limit to that, how much that window can hold of what it considers when it's outputting a new token and that is called the context length. So if you have heard of that before, that is what that is. It is the length of the context, and the context is the amount of information the model can store in its brain at any one time. And some of these bigger models have gotten, you know, longer and longer context lengths. You know, the actual effectiveness of the context length, like some of them have crazy long context lengths, like millions, and you know, whether that the actual length of the context, so the actual effectiveness. So like, okay, a model might say it has a million context length, but then when you actually, if you actually use a million tokens, you'll notice that the model can't actually recall information from you know, the first thousand tokens, or maybe even further than that. And that's because these context lengths are actually subject to a lot of other factors and you know, it's compute and, and things like that. So it's, it's not perfect, but that is the idea is that the context length is the amount of info that the model can store in its brain and refer to at one time. So AI can't browse the internet because it's just a text generation machine. The models that browse the internet for you and retrieve information from the internet, that is an augmented capability. So that is an AI showing agentic capabilities, meaning it's able to actually like take actions in the world. Again, because large language models these text generation machines are simply text generation machines. That's all they do. Based on their input, they output new text based on the probability distribution of the input that they receive. Searching the web is not that. Searching the web is a separate capability. And so some of these models are augmented with the ability to search the web and then load that data that it finds from the web into its context, into its working brain, and then reference that. And so that's how you see some of these models working where they like output references is they've added the capability of, okay, let's write some code that will then search the web. Let's grab the first five articles, stick it in the model's brain, in the model's brain is in the, in the context, in the prompt. So they're secretly stuffing a few web pages into the prompt with your own prompt, but you just don't see it. It's behind the scenes. They stuff in these websites and they say, okay, model respond to this user's input and reference you know, these three articles that we just found off the web. So that's what's going on when a model is searching the web and referencing it. And you might find that a lot of these models actually don't do very well <laughs> with their references. 